If you've ever bought anything from Amazon, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Every time you are checking a product on Amazon, Amazon will show you a small section under the product section called frequently bought together. And in this section, Amazon will be suggesting complementary purchases to the original product you are checking. And most of the time, these recommendations will make sense to the point that you feel like you need to say thank you guys for reminding me of these products, I also need them. And not only that, if you continue scrolling through the Amazon product page, you will see more and more recommendations. So why do we have all of these sections and recommendations within the Amazon product page? Well, obviously because they work. Amazon put huge efforts on these sections and they always make so much sense because otherwise they won't work and they won't perform well. Imagine for example, recommending a yoga mat for someone who's buying football t-shirt. This doesn't make sense and this customer is not going to convert and buy more. Recommending the right products helps Amazon to increase their average order value, but not only that, it helps them to serve their customers better. I personally felt very grateful when I was buying my camera from Amazon and Amazon reminded me that I need to buy the SD memory card with it. I was really very grateful because I almost forgot that I need a new memory card. And this is the exact feeling that you should be aiming to create on your own store. You should make your customers feel that these sections are there to help them, not to make them buy more. Although we practically know that they are there for both reasons. So how can you set up this on your Shopify store and can you actually do it? Well, the answer is yes. Thanks to a free app created by Shopify called the Search and Discovery app. Well, this app does a lot of things, but in this video, we are going to talk about how you can use this app to customize and modify your product recommendations. In Shopify, there are two types of product recommendations. You have the complementary products and you have the related products. Think about the complementary products as the best matching fit to the original purchase. The related products are also related to the original purchase, but somehow they are less related than the complementary products. Let's say for example, you are selling Kindles. The complementary products could be the Kindle cover and the screen protection. And the related products could be any type of electronic gadgets or laptops and so on. Now let's say for example, you are selling a yoga mat. The complementary products could be for example, yoga socks and maybe a bag for the mat. And the related products could be other options for the mat or maybe yoga blocks and so on. Complementary products are usually placed in the area next of the product information and related products can be put somewhere down in the page maybe after you finish listing all of your product information. Shopify by default auto-generate products for these sections. And in order to do these recommendations, I think that Shopify used previous data and orders and so on. But Shopify needs a lot of data in order to get these sections right. But I really think that no one, like no one, knows your products and customers better than you. That's why I highly recommend you to go and customize these sections by yourself. And now let's move to Shopify and let's see how we can get this done. So this is the app that I want you to download and use. It's called the Search and Discovery app and it's a free app from from Shopify. Just install it on your store and we can start working. From your Shopify dashboard, I need you to go to apps and to go to the search and discovery app. You will see that this app does multiple things. First, we have filters, search, recommendations, and finally we have the settings. We are not going to talk about filters and search. If you want to know more about this app, you can always check this video on my YouTube channel where I explain everything this app does. For now, we are going to talk about recommendations. So you click on recommendations and you will have all of your product listed in here if you want to change any. I'm going actually to click on add recommendations to start from scratch. The first thing I need to do is to select a product. So you click on browse and you choose any product from your store. Let's go with this one. For example, I will click on add. So now we are modifying the recommendations for this product. In here we have two sections. First, we have the complementary products section and second, we have the related products section. And as you can see, in this section, we have so many products auto-generated by Shopify. Okay, let's start first with the complementary products. I'm going in here to click on browse and let's say, for example, the best complementary product with this one is this product in here. I will click on add. You can add another complementary product if you wish, and I highly recommend you to only stick with two complementary products, not more. 
Okay, I'm gonna stick with one for now and then I'm going in here and I will modify the related products section. I'm gonna pick random products just for the sake of example. So I'm gonna choose this, this and this and click on add. And now you will see that my recommendations come first. They come above the auto-generated recommendations by Shopify. And basically that's it. You can choose to hide the auto-generated recommendations if you wish, or you can keep them. And you click on save. If you have a huge catalog, it might be a little bit difficult to customize all of your product recommendations. That's why I recommend you to start with your top selling products. Customize their product recommendations and later on you can move to more and more products. Now I'm going to the theme customization in order to show the complementary products and the related products within my product page. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the title so I don't forget it. And I will go to online store. From there, I will choose this theme because this is the one I'm working on. And from here, I will go to products and to the default product page. The complementary product and the related products will show in this page. And that's why we move to the customization of the product page. So I will start in here by changing the product preview to the product I have worked on. So I will pick this one. And now I'm previewing exactly this product. As you can see in here in this section in the sidebar, we can see that this section in here is called product details. What I'm going to do is to scroll down in here and click on add block. And I will add a block called complementary products. For this video in here, I'm using the boost theme as an example, but this is going to work for any theme because now almost every theme on Shopify has a complementary products block within the product information section. So this is the block that I have just added and I'm going to move it up and put it in here under the buy buttons. Now, if I scroll in here, I should be able to see my complementary products section. This is the exact product that we have recommended. If you click on this block in here, you might change some stuff like the heading and how many products you want to show. And you can even enable carousel if you want to recommend multiple products. But for the complementary products, I highly recommend you to stick with a very limited number. Something very important that you must remember here. Your product recommendations, whether it is the complementary products or your related products, should be active and in stock because otherwise the app will filter them out and will not show them. So now this is it for the complementary products. So this is the related product section and I already have it set up in here. And regardless of the theme you are using, you will always have a related product section on your store and on your theme. When you click in here, you can modify some stuff about the section, like the heading and the number of products you want to show. But as you can see, these are the products we have set up within the search and discovery app. And that's it. You click on save and your changes will be up and running. Quick tip here, Shopify offers multiple reports that you can use in order to know what to recommend better in case you need some help with product recommendations. So this is everything you need to know in order to be able to set up your product recommendations correctly on your Shopify store. If you like this video and you find it helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to be able to create a solid, sustainable, strong e-commerce business. Remember, it's a free workshop and you don't need to pay any dollar. Just go down to the description and sign up and that's it. Thank you again for watching this video and see you soon. Bye bye.